Welcome to 519 Diecast. This is a different video. This is, is this a chase? I've seen so many posts about it. Uh, I just thought I'd show you what I have. So there's, I've got chases in M2s, Johnny Lightning, Auto World, Green Light. And I got Hot Wheels and Matchbox. It's, it's quite an array of different ones. Um, so I'm going to show you what chases I have, the variations of them. And what they look like, I guess. And uh, yeah, we'll get started with the M2s and then I'm just going to carry on with different brands. So, to start out with, this, this is a 124 scale of uh, M2. Now, the very bottom one there, it is in gold. That is the Chase. Now, this here is the regular version. So, some Chases do come all blacked out, but uh, if you're not sure with the 124 scale, the way to find out quick is to look at the base. Now this base has got the checker plate on it. And this base is shiny, like a mirror finish. So that's how you can tell if uh, the 124 scales anyways, besides being gold, gold trim all over it and everything. Like everything gold where it should be chrome. So the easiest way to find these is to look at the base. And then you'll know for sure what it is so those that's one version of chase most common is is in gold and uh, they also come a little different too we got this one here that's the chase and there's the regular version they did it strange I, I don't get it but anyways again there's the checker plate base on this one this is your regular version of the car which is pretty cool car and then they did it in the primer halfway through the rebuilds, I guess. And you can see there's the base. It's uh, shiny. So, yeah, it's not the checker plate. So that is the chase for this one. So the easiest way to check is probably just look at the base. You're not sure what is what. But that's uh, two different styles there. And then we have the same thing in the haulers. So the top one there is the chase done in gold. Uh, it's gold uh, trailer and everything, but the checker plate base on these ones because these are 164. So uh, they're a little different. This is gold on these, and this is your regular version without the gold. So there's, they do come in the hauler series. Actually, I got two different haulers. One here to show you, and this this is the regular one. And this is the chase again with all the gold. But yeah, the checker plate base on the 164 scale. So that is the difference between those. It's got the gold. So that's, those ones are pretty simple to pick out. Uh, here's another one. This one here has got the blue tires. And I don't have the regular version of this one actually. But back earlier they used to put these stickers on this is uh, one of 600 pieces this one here but it's got the blue wheels you should be able to tell by the blue wheels but back then they used to have the stickers now the stickers are gone so everybody's confused on what's what out there so that's why I'm doing this video because it is really really difficult now to unless you do your research and you know what's going on now here's another set this is the Chase, and this is your regular version, chrome wheels. Again, checker plate base because it's 164. There's no uh, fancy bases on these except for this. has got the red wheels, and it's actually got the Christmas tree in the back of this one that made it a Chase, which is um, you know a little different because there is other series of this. It had the uh, Christmas tree in the back, but it was not a Chase. But for this year, they did do... All their chases for the Christmas Cokes with a tree in it I believe I'm I'm pretty sure they did they did come in a raw too but not this model but there is a raw to these so yeah that's the difference between those two and they all say you know 750 pieces up here 9600 and this one does too but it is not a chase that is a chase this is not so yeah that's two different ones and actually to stay with that, I'm going to go with this. This one here still had the sticker on it. This is the Gassers. 
This is the chase with the uh, gold. It's almost an orangey gold on this one. It's a little different. And there's your regular version. So yeah, those ones are pretty simple to see. There's the sticker. 650 pieces on this one. So that one there, you know, when they had the stickers, it was pretty easy. And they do come in hoist. Again, except for they changed the color of this truck. Now this is the chase. And it's uh, 750 pieces. Same truck, except for this one here is red. And this one here is gold with the uh, gold uh, wheels, which is a little different again. Of course, it's got the sticker on it, 750 pieces. So that's the difference between those types. And I've got, uh, I'm going to go with these here. This is an older one. Again, it's got a sticker on it. That's your regular version of the truck right there. Blacked out wheels. Everything's pretty cool. This one here has got the gold wheels and gold trim. So yeah, that is the chase for those two. That's the difference between them. And then there's this one here. It's a little different. Again, the regular version has the white wheels and blue interior. And this one has black wheels and white interior. So this one here would be a little tricky if it didn't have the sticker on it. And if you didn't do your research, you probably would have had a hard time with this one. Because uh, it looks like a normal truck. It wouldn't look like a chase. And... Uh, it's a chase, one of 750 pieces. There's the two of them together. You can see the difference. Chase, non-chase. And then, another weird one here is, uh, I should have grabbed another one of these. This is a goose chase. Now, I don't, uh, I do have a bunch of these goose chases, but it's got the little red goose on the uh, fender there. And it's got red interior, and it's got awful nice wheels with red line tires. I believe all of the goose chases are done this way. I'd have to go down the stairs and take a look and see the rest of them. But I'm pretty sure they all had red interior and these fancy wheels. And of course the goose on the fender. Actually I have a Jeep and the goose is on the hood of it. So that's another different chase right there. They call this one a goose chase. Which is pretty cool. I'm only missing one of these goose chases I gotta try and find. And then again another version. This one here's got the uh, chrome wheels. This is your regular version. And there's your chase right there. And it's got the gold, or the, yeah, the red wheels. They're pretty cool. That's the only thing different on this one. The interiors and everything's the same except for the wheels. So, yeah, it's, yeah, I would think that would be easy to pick out. Even though it has a sticker on it. If it didn't have the sticker, I think that one you should be able to pick out. Because it's a really shiny um, red it's not it's not like your plain plastic red it's almost like a candy red type deal it's like it's got a chrome base and uh, red on top so that's them and then there's two more this one here's got the blue wheels and I do have the regular version of this I just didn't get it dug out in time to do the video so yeah this has got the blue interior and it's got the uh, blue wheels now I believe the other one has blue interior the only thing different is the wheels on this and this is blue wheels on it 750 piece sticker which helps they don't do that anymore and here's an older one that didn't come with a sticker except for the top there it just says limited production and uh, that's another chase which is pretty cool with the gold and the gold interior in that one so yeah those are neat and then, of course, this one here from the pink set. And, uh, yeah, it's got the pink wheels on it. The car's normal. That's the way they come. The only thing different is the wheels on it were pink. So, yeah, that's the chase. Of course, there's a the sticker, 750 pieces. So, we'll keep going with these things. Here's uh, the Auto Drivers series. Now, this one here is a chase. I didn't dig out the other one for it. But uh, this one's got the pink wheels and pink chrome so it's not uh not the chrome it's pink chrome and it's done very nice so that's another way of telling it's a pretty cool unit i do like that and this one here they did it the same as the other ones with the uh, chrome and then the gold there's the gold trim on there 
and your regular version is here this is your chase version and there is no stickers on these ones but you know that should be easy to pick out they both say 750 pieces worldwide but this is definitely the chase to that so yeah there's that and then they got different stuff like now this one here I should have looked up the looked it up to see what the whole difference is but I think it's because it has the white interior and white wheels on this one I think that's what makes this one the chase I should have grabbed the other ones to show you but it's that's how they tell the difference or it's a different version of it I guess and of course it had the sticker so it made it really easy but if you've seen them side by side you know that one was a chase for sure so that's one way they did it another way they did it was right here and this is almost like a green machine because it got the green wheels on it so again something different again of course it is a chase there's 750 pieces i do have the regular version didn't dig it out to show you i've got so many cars it's just crazy and another version of it here same thing except for it's got the white wheels and the white interior so that made that one a chase there's the front of her pretty cool I do have the regular version as well and there's your sticker 750 pieces again they do not do that anymore and they put them in the, uh, the lift series the hoist I guess and this one here's got the gold wheels and the gold hoist I don't know if you can see that but there's the gold hoist and usually they're a different color but being a chase they do them gold some not all some are the gold so that's how you tell it's got the gold trim in there and it's got the gold wheels so and of course it says 750 on this one because it is older for sure now this one is quite older and this is a chase as well see the hoist is not gold but the grill is gold in there and it's got the gold wheels and the gold engine so there's your two different ones there as well so, alrighty, I'm going to pause this and I'm going to get ready to do one of the other sets. This is going to be a long video, so you'll be able to skip through to whatever section you'd like to see. So, I'll be right back. Okay, we're going to do some Hot Wheels and Muscle Machines. Uh, yeah, just um, oh Matchbox as well. So, start out with here. This is a treasure hunt. Now, the way to tell with the treasure hunts... You can either spend the time and try and look for that little flame on that back quarter that could be anywhere on a vehicle, but the easiest way is to look underneath. And there's a little flame there in a circle. That is your regular treasure hunt. It's done in a silver. I believe that's silver. So that's how you tell treasure hunts. That with the little flame there. There's no other real markings on the card for a treasure hunt, but that's just your regular treasure hunt there because of the uh, silver flame underneath it now then you have the gold flame now this is a super treasure hunt I should have pulled out the matches to these but my goodness I got so much going on right now this is a super treasure hunt and there's the TH for the treasure hunt there's super treasure hunt actually they put the TH on it and underneath the car there's actually a gold flame right there now the best way to look for these things is to look them up before you go out hunting and see what would be out there. But uh, yeah, that's a super right there. Actually, I just picked this one up today. Thanks, Paul. So that's a super treasure hunt. And, and it's just done in like regular paint. It doesn't really look like Spectra paint. It's just like gray. It, it's, it doesn't really stand out by any means. But then when you get to these supers, they do stick out because they use the Spectra paint. Now this is two different reds on this one. There's uh, two different colored reds. This one here is kind of a, a lighter, shinier red. And of course there's the gold flame underneath. Right there, if you can see it, I don't know. Yeah, there is a gold flame. So that's a super treasure hunt there. And it has the TH on the door. So that's your super treasure hunt. And then you have this one with a little darker red, but again, Spectra paint on it, which is really cool. And uh, a little flame underneath there, gold flame. And the TH on this one, I do not know where it is. I think maybe that's it right there above the headlight. 
So yeah, that is a super treasure hunt. So that's the Hot Wheels, and then we get into these here car culture ones. Now, I didn't know anything about these. I, this was the first uh, chase I had ever found, and I didn't even know it was a chase. But how you tell with those is by the zero of five. And a lot of them are in black. The ones I've seen so far have been pretty much all black, I believe. But uh, yeah, there's zero of five, except for the drag strip demons. That was not black. That was a cream color, I guess. But uh, this is the uh, chase. The uh, regular version of this car is up here. I don't know if you can see it right there in the uh, silver and blue. That's the regular version right there, and this is the chase version. So there's five cars in the set, but this one says zero of five. That's what makes it a chase, and the same as this modern classic, same thing, zero of five. This is all done in black right there, and the uh, regular version of it is right there in white or cream. I believe it's white. But uh, I do have all these cars, it's just I didn't dig them out. So that, that's how you tell with these. Zero of five, and that's in the premium sets. And then we have monster trucks. Yes, there is a chase in them too, or a treasure hunt. Right there is the little flame right there on their uh, fender. I don't know any other way of telling, you know, maybe the red lines in the wheels. I don't know how to really tell. I looked it up and it, I found out it was a treasure hunt. I picked it up because it was a Ford truck. That's why I picked it up. And it turns out it is a treasure hunt just because of that flame. I do have a few different treasure hunts in these. But uh, that's one. Now, these are not treasure hunts. But they might as well be because these are really hard to get. It's Zamax. Uh, when they come out, they're gone. They, they are so hard to get. So you might as well say they're treasure hunts because they just grab them. And it's just that it doesn't have any paint. So this is not a chase. It's not a treasure hunt. But they do only put out so many of them. And uh, around here, they're pretty tough to get. So if you do see them, you know, you got something kind of special, I guess. I don't know. And these here are now obsolete. They don't do these anymore. But... Uh, at one time, this would be like a chase as well because they only put so many of these in the case. Not very often you've seen them. You know, I don't know what the production number was on these ID cars, but it wasn't very big. So, yeah, if you're lucky enough to find one, you know, it's pretty cool. And actually, they're really nice paint jobs and everything. So, they're not really chases, but they are and they're not. I don't know how to explain that one. They are a little rare, but... Eh, they're whatever. They're cool. I like them. And then we have Matchbox. Now this is the first one I got. This one came from Adam and Anderson. And uh, this is Matchbox Moving Parts. And this is the first chase I've seen in the moving parts. And you can tell by it says Matchbox Super Chase right there. They make it pretty easy. They show you exactly what it is right up there. It tells you. So yeah, that is the... Uh, Matchbox Super Chase, so they all seem to have them. So that's it done in moving parts. And then I have them in a regular version. Well, they're not really regular, but regular carded. And that's a Matchbox Super Chase. You can tell by the uh, the markings there again. So yeah, that, these ones here are pretty easy to pick out. Um, again, with these things, if you're not first, you're last with these for sure because yeah, you got to get them when you see them. So that's another one right there. So that's the Matchbox chases that I have and the ones I know of type of deal. And then of course Monster Jam, they got to have a chase. You know, this is uh, again another chase. This is Spin Masters. And to tell by these ones here, the motor is painted chrome in them and they got painted shocks. Now they used to say it was this BKT on the tires. But I've seen lots that were not chases with that same lettering on there. But yeah, you can tell by the shocks and the painted motor um, or engine. That's how you tell these. So yes, there is soup or chases in the Monster Jams as well. I haven't kept up with it, so I don't know exactly how they're doing it now. But that's, uh, that's one of them right there. And then on to some muscle machines right there. 
Now there's chases in these as well. Now this is number 24 and this one is not a chase. This is your regular version. Now this is the chase to it and it's done in black with the uh, mm, I guess it's kind of an orangey gold rim with gold rim gold inside the rim. So there's that and they were putting this little sticker on there if you can see it uh, muscle machine sticker and uh, yeah they don't do that anymore I'm gonna show you because there's another chase of the same car you know same thing these are the two chases and uh, one has the sticker as you can see there and no sticker there so they've stopped the sticker on some of them not all of them so some are stickered and some are not and uh, yeah I got both versions stickered and non stickered so I was pretty happy with that and then carry on with that so it's, those are different colors these are different colors as well now this one here is a really cool gold color this is your regular version and that is number 15 it says model 15 and this is your chase version and it's got the muscle machines emblem right there on the fender and uh, yeah they're both different this one does have the sticker and uh, so you could tell that way for sure I didn't even look to see where the uh, the double M the double M on that one is at the back so yeah they got the marked this one here is marked with the red outline on it so there's your chase and this is your regular version so yeah there's chases and muscle machines you can watch for and then we got the Shelby collectible which I didn't grab the other one the other one is blue with the white stripes this one here is raw with red wheels which is different I don't know how many different versions or chases these guys put out this is the first one I've seen and uh, I don't know what they do to change them up if there's any extra things they do maybe they come with black wheels and just raw I don't know but uh, this is the first one I've found and managed to get it. So yeah, that is a chase as well. It's not your plain blue with the white striping, which is out there. I do have it. And then we have these here. These are um, NASCAR Authentics. And uh, I don't know much about these. We don't get these in Canada. Now... These are Chase. This is liquid color. I don't have another one to even show you the difference in them. But the uh, paint is like a really cool looking paint. <laughs> That's all I got to say. I, I don't know. I got to move this camera down a little bit. <coughs> oh, sorry. And uh, yeah, it's um, gold. It's a really cool color. And actually, I got two of them. These came from Adam and Anderson. And this one here is the Chase as well. It's got the gold and it does have this liquid color sticker on here. It says Chase piece on it. Both of them have it and apparently they don't put that sticker on these anymore. I don't know because I don't get these in Canada at all. And there's the uh, back. Now, I don't know. Look for the Chase. I don't know how you tell which one it is. I don't know anything about these but I do know that there is a chase in these cars as well so that's something to look forward to or look for anyways so those are pretty cool cars absolutely alrighty I'm gonna clean this mess up and I'll grab my next batch of cars alrighty we're gonna look at some Auto World race champions and some Johnny Lightning on this one and uh, this part of the video and I'm sorry for the cough in there I don't know how to edit so I won't be able to get rid of that I'm sorry for that but um, yeah, this is the Auto World. These are Ultra Reds. And uh, this is a two pack, which I was really surprised to see. Now, these guys do make a raw. And I have never yet seen a raw. I guess the production number on those things are very small. But uh, just to show you what this is, this has got the red paint, which is just a cool color. I love the color of this cars. But this one here has white wheels and red tires. And this one has chrome wheels with the red tires and they both have the white interior so they're not too hard to pick out these ones these ones here are pretty easy 
Um, but yeah, that's that's one thing to look for is the different wheels and this got red tires on it Now they're not all the same all these ultra reds are a little different now this one here Dodge Dart it's got the red wheels red paint and red interior So that's a little different again That's pretty cool. Love this car Dodge Dart. So there's something else to look for Like I say, they're pretty easy to pick this is the very first one I've ever gotten. I got this one from Adam and Anderson as well. This here is the red with the red interior and all white wheels. And it's got a white base, which is a little different. That's kind of a Johnny Lightning thing, but it's not for this car. And here we got the same thing except for the chrome wheels and white interior and white roof. White tires and a white base. So yeah, that's not too hard to pick out, that one. Those two are pretty simple. And this one here has just got your red interior and red exterior, white wheels and uh, regular wheels on it, like the just black walls and a red base on this one. So there's your red base difference. So there's little differences on all of them, like the two-pack here, it does have the red bases as well. Should have showed you that, but yeah, that's the uh, different versions that I have. There's probably more versions out there, but I do know there is a raw as well, which I have not gotten. And I got this one here. I don't have the regular version. I have to find it. It shouldn't be hard to find. They're pretty... Uh, not popular I guess I've seen other guys post pictures of these on the peg still but this is actually a gold strike this is my very first gold strike and again this came from Adam and Anderson thank you very much this thing is awesome now the gold strike has got the gold windshield in it and it's got the gold paint on the top there and on the wheels is gold or yellowish gold and the base is gold now these here are a little trickier to find I guess I've this is the first one I've ever seen in real life and uh, I've seen posts about them but I've never actually gotten one and now we have one here so that is a gold strike and it's got the gold windshields now I don't know if all of them have gold windshields or what have you but they probably do have the gold base and it's got to have that gold paint I know that for sure the paint is uh, 100% yes so that is in the race champions mint and that is the gold strike now we're getting into Johnny Lightning and these guys they're so tricky so that there's the regular version the red one and uh, the white lightning is right here and it's white with the gold wheels white in exterior and black interior which is pretty easy to pick out, you'd think. That one's pretty easy. Base is white on that. That's pretty easy. So I just show you the two different ones. You know, that's not a hard one to pick out. It seems pretty easy. So that's the a white lightning. And then we have these white lightnings. This is a regular version right there. And this is the white lightning because that white stripe there on the hood. Now it probably has the white engine in it. But that is the only thing different on these two vehicles. Even the bases are the same. I don't know if you can see in the bases or not. These are twin cars. Just that. One is a white lightning and the other one is not. One's black. That's your normal. And this is the white striped one. And that is your white lightning. This one here caught me off guard because I had this one. Did a video. Didn't know it. You know, and then I seen a post about it and I thought, what? So I had to go back and check. And yes, I had the white lightning, but I didn't have the regular version. So I had to get the regular version. So that is the difference there. Not a lot of difference. A little tricky to find, you know. If you're not paying attention, you would definitely miss that one for sure. And then we'll get into these. This one here is another white lightning. It's got the white wheels and the gold rims and gold interior. And that is your white lightning, but it's got a black base. There's no white base on this one. But that is your white lightning for this one. So eh, it should be fairly easy to pick out, I would think. The same as this one here. It's just got the 
white and gold wheels, but it's got the gray interior. It's just your regular interior in this one. So yeah, another one should be able to pick it out, you know, pretty easy. I don't know, it's, it's hard to say. And one that's really tough to find or figure out are these two. So this here is your regular version with the blue stripe on the bottom. And uh, yeah, this one was tough. That is your white lightning with the blue stripe missing. That is the only difference in these vehicles is that stripe. And that white stripe is the white lightning right there. White lightning, regular version. No white interior, no fancy wheels, nothing. The exact same except for the blue stripe, which would be really hard to pick up for sure. But, you know, I managed to get it. I got lucky finding it. And, uh, yeah, happy, happy. But those are going to be tough. You know, stuff like that. When they do stuff like that, it makes it really tough. Now, here's another white lightning. This is a Cougar. And I just got this one from Adam and Anderson, too. And this one here is white with the white interior. But it says white lightning on the tires. Now, there is some out there that only have white lightning on the tire. They don't have any other trademarks. It just says white lightning on the tire. That is it. This one has the white base and white lightning on the tires. If you didn't know it was supposed to be that color, orange or gold, I guess, um, you would think it's just a regular car. But it has white lightning on the tires, and that's what gives that one away right there. So, yeah, that's that, those are tricky ones. When they just put the white lightning on the tires and nothing else has changed, just a regular car, just white lightning, that's a tough one. And this one here, again, white wheels, white rims, black interior, white car, white base. So that there is another one. From Adam and Anderson, another white lightning, which is just awesome. Love it. And, uh, yeah, there's not much. You should be able to pick that one out pretty easy. And here's another one that everybody's confusing because this is like a snow edition one. And there's a lot of these out there with uh, white because they are white. Not pure white, but an off-white. And they're thinking they're white lightnings, but they're not. This is actually a white lightning with the uh, white paint and the white wheels. I... Didn't dig out the regular version of it. I'm pretty sure I got the regular version to show it, but I didn't grab it. It's got the green wheels, but yeah, the base is white on this one. And uh, yeah, this is a white lightning. Now, I do have some white cars that look that they should be white lightnings, but they're not. And the same as some of my Johnny Lightnings have the, uh, like the ultra red paint on them. But they're not ultra reds because they're not Auto World. So they're, they're a little tricky, I guess. So I guess that's that, and I'm going to get into the green light next, which is, wow, there's a lot of that. So I'll clean this mess up. Alrighty, on to some green light. Now these are dioramas. I just took them out of the box just so I could get a better showing of them, I guess you'd say. These are Raws, and they have green wheels on them. Now these have got no paint. They're just plain, but they all have green wheels, which is uh, very unique, you know, but that is uh, a green machine, but a raw on top of it. So that's pretty cool. A little rare, I guess. I do have a few. And then we have this set, again, that is raw, but they have regular wheels on them. So yeah, I guess you really look for the raw vehicles on these ones, I guess. There's the uh, just regular wheels. Now and there's actually got white wheels on the back, but it's just a regular truck, just no paint. You know, it has some accent panels, I guess, and a little bit of markings, but uh, yeah, no paint. So yeah, these are from the diorama. So those are two different ways raws come, I guess, with the green wheels and regular wheels. So we'll carry on with that. And then we have this here, this actually came from Adam again, Anderson, Adam and Anderson. And uh, this is a Walmart exclusive. And how you tell that is because of the blue wheels. Now, yeah, it should be, uh, it's blue base as well. You know, it's still a green machine, 
but it is a Walmart exclusive because it has the blue wheels. So there's something to keep an eye out for you. You know, they, we don't get these in Canada. They don't do that for us here, but uh, this is U.S., and they get all the, the neat stuff for sure. So they do have blue wheels. And then we have your regular green wheels and the green base. So there's uh, Fargo, I guess. That's uh, a, not a bad show, I guess, but that's the green machine to that. And then another one that came from uh, Adam and Anderson as well in red. Now this is a Target exclusive because it is in red. It's still, a, I guess, you class it as a green machine, but it is in red. So this is a Target exclusive. So these are my first ones I've got, the Target and the uh, Walmart exclusives. So yeah, that's how you tell if they're exclusives, I guess, because it's red wheels for Target, blue wheels for, for Walmart. And then here in Canada, eh, green wheels. <laughs> that's the way that one goes. But they don't only do green wheels, they do green bodies. So I just picked these up. So this is your regular version, black and gray. And then they do it in the green machine version, which is just green paint, which is an awesome green. I absolutely love this green. They do a fantastic, but that is nothing else. Like it's just the body is green, which is just cool. So of course, you know, I, I guess I'll show you both of them. I got both versions, of course. Green bodies, it's nothing different. Green bodies. And then I got this the other day from... Uh, Bob he sent me this. this is a 143 scale this is the first one I got and this is a green machine green wheels right there so that's how you tell a green machine on these is I guess by the wheels I don't know anything about these I don't see many of these around here so yeah that is a green machine too green wheels and then we have this one here which is really cool now this has got a little bit of everything going on it's got green wheels and a raw on the car. The car is raw, no paint, just the wheels right there, green base. And same as the truck, green base, just green wheels. So it's a green machine and a green machine with, it's a raw. So that one there is really unique. I thought that was just cool to see the whole setup like that. So that's a little different and then you have your uh, hitch and toes same thing green wheels green wheels green wheels everywhere so that's your green machine for them green bases not on the trailer but on the truck and the car green bases so that's pretty cool and then I guess I'm gonna do these 124s we got the A-Team here, and that is a green machine because of the green wheels right there, which is pretty cool. And this here also is a green machine, green wheels with the green stripe, which is a little different because there's the uh, green wheels, red stripe, green wheels, green stripe. They're a little tricky, and then this is your regular version right there with the red wheels so yeah those are something you got to watch for with the striping they change that up a little bit too so those are a little different but that's the 124 scale and then I'm going to get into the rest of these green machines and uh, you know they're all a little different this is from the uh, hitched homes little different they come in all kinds of stuff these uh, green machines this is a green bodied green machine right there regular wheels just the uh, body is painted green so that is your green machine I think the other one is uh, like a silver the original one to that and then we have this one here which again doesn't look like much but it's the green wheels this in here is the green machine as well got the green wheels it's not your proper one I don't have the original version of it I should have grabbed one but I didn't but yeah that's another green machine there and they come in these little hoist as well right there so 
So these come in a different colors, but this is the green machine one right there. So yeah, they, the green machines are everywhere. Everywhere. And then we have a couple more raws. This is a raw with the green interior and green roof. Regular wheels, just raw. No green base or nothing on that, but it is a raw. And this here as well, another raw. No paint, which is pretty cool, which I do have <laughs> the other versions of these, the regular versions. I just didn't get around to packing them out. Then we got a couple different ones here. This one here is just like a, a flat green on here. It's a dirty version, but it is a green machine. Suspension's green. Then we have this other green, which is kind of a shinier green with a shiny roll bar. And it's done in green as well. So that's a, another green machine telltale, I guess. Green chassis. So that's that one. This one here was tough to pick out because the body is green. They only painted the top part green there. That is a green machine. I can't remember what the other color was. I think it was blue. I'm not 100% sure, but this is a green machine. The only thing they changed was the paint on that. They just did the top part of that truck green. That is the green machine for that one. King Crunch. And of course, Dually Drivers. They also have green machines. There's a the green wheel. No, and the green base on the bottom. So that's uh, another green machine. And they have it in tractors. So that's a little different. You know, they have tractors and green machines. And they have transports and green machines. And this one actually looks really sharp with those green wheels. I was pretty impressed with that. But you know what? You guys need to hit that like and subscribe. It would be much appreciated. And uh, I hopefully this comes in handy for some of you out there. Uh, this is all I got right now. I still got to get M2s, or not M2s, but I got to get into the Mini GTs and all that stuff too. When I get some chases of them, I'll be showing them and probably make another video in probably another year like this. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned. And uh, thanks for watching. See ya.